My name is Ivan Baan, I'm a photographer and I work with the built environment, how people inhabit these spaces, how they take it over, how uh, they change it, how they appropriate it and how the built environment is becoming a kind of backdrop in cities and places. So in this series of photographs I think you really see um, that atmosphere of Rome in the summer, the, the heat, the exhaustion of people, uh, the selfies, the, the photographs, the, uh, this, these masses of people and how that history of the city is really like that, yeah, encapsulates that whole environment. I think that combination, looking at, at the city also through that view and comparing that to Las Vegas, yeah, you see a lot of commonalities in these two places, of course, in that sense. Rome, where nothing changed basically in the last uh, centuries, and Las Vegas, like we th really thought uh, it's important to uh, have a look at Las Vegas now, uh, 50 years after uh, the book Learning from Las Vegas. Uh, like that's a place which is like changing in a snap, and it's really sort of this decor of all these references uh, we all know and recognize, but are put up and changed and changed again. What you see here in the show, we try to create that kind of density um, uh, from the large aerial views where you can zoom into all the details to like really personal moments where you're almost right in the face of the people, uh, the tourists and uh, enjoying the place. Uh, so it's this kind of zooming in and out, uh, which what we try to recreate here also in the sizes of the images. In Rome, I really focused on, yeah, also that mass tourism, how the, these power icons are now really that backdrop for people to enjoy and see that uh, kind of history. I, I think like uh, everyone aspires to go to Rome and, and see that history, that 2000 year history here in the city. But then when you go to a place like Las Vegas, uh, they recreate that whole atmosphere, uh, but like just in a surface, just in a thin veil, basically draped over the whole city. So you see like the masses of tourists, which are all on their cell phones and in their own world uh, inside uh, the casinos, where it's this completely artificial world where there's no daylight. Uh, yeah, that sort of completely encapsulated world. And then, of course, on the outs uh, outside, you see like the homeless people and the sort of all the the edges of that society, which are in a climate like that, also in America, very visible. What really struck me in Las Vegas is nowadays, like all these venues become bigger and bigger to accommodate that mass tourism. And it's basically becoming these massive sheds uh, where uh, Robert and Denise were talking about, basically, but at a scale which is kind of becoming unimaginable, which still has to be filled. So it's just these endless continuous patterns of things we all recognize, but repeat it all over again, almost like a computer game um, with its sort of mapping over all these structures. And I feel like this exhibition, yeah, we refer a lot to these, that sort of flatness and the, um, uh, how, how it becomes so one dimensional, basically, the, that whole image making of a city. And I think uh, sort of the transformation from like old Rome, what we see here to uh, this sort of decor building to like the next step where it becomes all, yeah, just our computer screens where we're all involved in. The whole show is, yeah, uh, seeing all the commonalities between these two cities and of course the stark differences, but in the end also like how these two worlds, yeah, we're all there together, basically.